So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. With this season ending May 23rd, I'm here to bring you the ultimate Lost Sector guides. Featuring gameplay from all three classes, you're now able to skip to the character that you want to see. However, I do recommend watching all three since you'll be able to soak in the strategies more effectively, seeing multiple ways to tackle a given obstacle. The first run has the commentary, so be sure not to skip that one. The last two will be sped up with no commentary since there's honestly no reason to waste your time or repeat the same information. By the time you get there, the tips will all come together. Keep in mind, the exotic in rotation today is in the top line of the description. Also, the builds used in this video will be described briefly, and you can easily copy them with the dim links also in the description. And now that you know the location, let's hop right into the first class. Now the Titan build can be used by any class, and you don't need an exotic. Slap on Echo of Starvation for Devour. Devour heals you to full HP after getting a kill. Solar Siphon and Firepower will give us the orbs we need for Devour. For our weapons, we'll use Arbalest, a Glaive, and a heavy grenade launcher. The dim link for the full build is in the description. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you load into the Lost Sector is throw your grenade down so you can proc your Devour. You're going to need this to clear the adds pretty easily. Basically what you do is get your Devour, get an enemy low, and then just finish them. That way you're invis and you're healing from the Devour. So basically we're just going to clear this room out. You saw me stun the, the uh, Unstoppable because he was right in my face there. But typically what you're gonna wanna do is exactly what I'm doing right now. Just clear out the room first so that you can deal with him without being shot at. And when you're glaving him down, you're going to want to hold the block button as that increases your cast speed. So we'll just clear out the room and then we'll take care of him. Now you can deal with the unstoppable in any order that you want. Typically I recommend clearing out the room, but if nothing is shooting at you and if you're confident, then you can just do what I did there. Then you're gonna come to this next room and you're gonna, again, clear the room and then take care of the champion. Now this Lost Sector is super short and I would say it's super easy, but the only thing that's difficult about it is the last room, the boss room. You'll see what I mean, it gets pretty hectic in there. Now when you get into this room, you're gonna wanna take care of the Scions first thing, cause they're right in your face. Take care of all three of them if you can. And it is a little bit difficult to say what to do here. I like to stand right here, but Sometimes there will be uh, one of those legionaries in that cave to my right right now. So what you're, what you're going to want to do in a perfect world is just go for the barrier immediately. But as you can see, that's a little bit difficult. There's guys to your right and a guy on your left. And you can't really peek to the right because then you're going to get hit with explosive damage. So just look for an opening and try to take care of the barrier from this left side here. Got him. So we could just take care of him really easily. And now we're gonna wanna do heavy damage to the boss. Now you can see why we switched to a grenade launcher. He is moving around so much and he often jumps back into cover. So we're gonna run out into the open a little bit uh, in a second here, because honestly he doesn't do a whole bunch of precision damage. Like if you're jumping around a lot, it's kinda hard for the boss to hit you. Then a champion is gonna spawn and you're gonna do the same thing. Sometimes you're gonna have to jump back here for some health, no problem at all. What you're going to want to do is clear out the adds, take care of the unstoppable, and then focus on the boss again. Just using your linear, your glaive, whatever you can shoot at him. This boss room can be a bit difficult because there's not much cover, you know? Any, you can get hit from pretty much anywhere in this boss room, so... Just be a little bit careful, but it is pretty simple. You're just going to glaive the unstoppable down, and then focus back on the boss. Now, what the boss does is he spawns two, well, two more legionary, two more nightmare legionaries. So you're going to want to watch out for them. But yeah, man, pretty simple stuff. When you get the boss low enough, he's going to run upstairs. And that actually puts him in a really easy position to do damage to him. And actually, one thing you can do is after you kill the barrier, you could just stand up here and fire damage off on him. Nothing is going to be able to hit you from up here. I didn't do that in this run, but that is a fantastic way to deal with this. But either way, when the boss does come up here, you could just sit on that head glitch that I was previously sitting on and arbalist him down if you have the shots, or you can come up here. You see I'm dealing with him with my glaive because that's all I have. But yeah, man, pretty simple stuff. Regular 4-5 or five minute clears. For our Warlock build, we're using Osteostriga and Necrotic Grip for massive poison damage. We're also using a Glaive and a Linear Fusion Rifle. Finally, you'll need Shackle Grenades for the Barrier Champions. The full build can be found with the Dim link in the description.
For the Hunter build, we'll be using Caliban's Hand and Wither Horde for massive ad clear. We're also using a Glaive and a Linear Fusion Rifle. Be sure to slot on Proximity Knife for the Caliban's Hand and Acrobat Dodge for Barrier Champions. The full build is in the dim link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe if you found any value in this content, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Destiny 2 video. Peace.